When a new NBA season starts, do you ever think to yourself, what was I doing without basketball every night? Because we definitely do. Luka is making an MVP case. The Warriors are playing better than we thought. And father time simply does not affect LeBron James as he may very well be playing in his 50s at this rate. So this is everything you missed after week one of the 2023-24 NBA season. LeBron James is still really good at basketball, bursting out of the gates, averaging 25 points per game at a highly efficient 56% from the field. However, the same cannot be said about his teammates as Austin Reeves is a missing person's case. While the man who dominated the Boston and Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals only six months prior has forgotten how to shoot the ball, which was always going to happen. The Lakers managed to erase the Clipper curse, beating him for the first time since the bubble. As excited as we were to see the Phoenix Suns true get bucket after bucket, we are still yet to see all three of them suit up at the same time as Bradley Bill and Booker have been dealing with separate injuries. Kevin Durant, though, has managed to keep the team afloat, averaging 27 points per night, as Phoenix has a 2-2 two two record. A team who has not at all been able to stay afloat, however, is the Memphis Grizzlies. Coming into the season, the first 25 games where Morant is suspended were going to be crazy. Crucial. And even though Desmond Bain has looked like he has taken a leap in his game, the Memphis Grizzlies are still yet to win a game as they are 0-5. The New Orleans Pelicans could shake up the Western Conference if they stay healthy, as absolutely nobody would want to see them in the first round. Zion Williamson looks borderline unfair when he gets into the paint, as once you pair him with lethal perimeter shooters like CJ McCollum and Brandon Ingram, the NBA should be careful when they're playing the Pelicans. The NBA implemented some new rules to stop teams sitting out key players in key matches. However, so far, these rules have appeared to do absolutely nothing. Nicole Jokic is firmly the best player on the NBA with averages of 26 points, 12.3 rebounds, 8.5 assists on a true shooting percentage of 69%, which is outstanding. His Denver Nuggets appear to be cruising through the regular season once again, as it's likely they'll finish as the number one seed in the conference. Scoring the basketball continues to be as easy as it's ever been, with more than five players already scoring 40 points. While Zach Levine managed to score the first 50 piece after only four days of the new season. Luca nearly had a 50 piece of his own, but he'll have to settle for 49, 10 and seven while averaging 39 points per game. Luca made very well be on track to win his first league MVP as his Dallas Mavericks are still undefeated while Grant Williams has turned into Larry Bird with shooting splits of 55% from three averaging 15 points per contest. Cam Thomas has proven to the Brooklyn Nets that he deserves more playing time as he already has three 30 point games averaging 28 points per game on an efficient 51% shooting. Damian Lillard made quite the first impression dropping 39 points in his first game with the Milwaukee Bucks carrying them down the stretch scoring the last 14 points in the final four minutes in a one point victory but then he followed it up with an outstanding six point performance against the Atlanta Hawks in an absolute blowout. The Celtics are by far the best team in the association, in my opinion, beating the Indiana Pacers by a whopping 51 points while Jason Tatum has added an extra dimension to his game as he's become a consistent mid-range and post-up scorer. Drew Holiday looks like a great fit and Kristaps Porzingis looks better than ever. As in his first game with the club, he had 31 points against the team who drafted him. Ben Simmons is back on the court and looking really good again, which makes the previous James Harden trade look like an absolute steal in the favor of the Brooklyn Nets. As James Harden ended up spending a season and a half with the Sixers and then decided he wanted out again. The 76ers sent James Harden packing as he heads west to team up with Kawhi Leonard, Paul George and Russell Westbrook as the Clippers have gone all out on winning a championship this season. One of the most exciting developments of the season has been the rookie draft class. From Victor Webb and Yama to Chet Holmgren, this draft class has the potential to go down as one of the all-time greatest drafts in NBA history. Chet and Wemby should be front runners for the defensive player of the year as they are both averaging more than two blocks a game. Wemby has lived up to the hype with a ridiculous comeback victory over Kevin Durant and his Phoenix Suns. Brandon Miller has appeared to be worth the second overall pick as he's putting up a solid 17 points per game on true shooting numbers of 61%. The same though cannot be said for Scoot Henderson as he's shooting only 34% from the field averaging 8 points a game with as many turnovers as assists. In Wemby's first game in the NBA, Derek Lively stole the spotlight as he crashed rebounds ending with a 16 point double double. The Rookie of the Year award has never been more interesting as it's going to be a heavily coveted discussion all season long. With all the questions coming into the season about the Golden State Warriors, lack of size and how Chris Paul and Draymond Green will mesh together, the Warriors have silenced those critics as their offense appears to be elite, averaging 112 points per game while boasting a record of 4-1. But the same struggles continue to persist as the team averages 15 turnovers a night. The real highlight for the Warriors though is how good Chris Paul has looked. Starting games in the lineup all coming off the bench, the Warriors for the first time in a long time have a plus when Stephen Curry is on the bench. The Washington Wizards were supposed to be a fun team to watch, but so far we've been thoroughly disappointed. Jordan Paul has appeared to have forgotten how to shoot the basketball and Kyle Kuzma is just shot chucking at this point. If the NBA first team was announced today, it would feature Stephen Curry, Luka Dantes, Jason Tatum, Kevin Durant, and Nikola Jokic. The most valuable player right now is Luka Doncic with his 39 points on an undefeated team, as it's very hard not to choose him at this point. The rookie of the year is going to be tough, but it is Wemby. The scoring leader is Luka, while the defensive player of the year, in my opinion, is going to go to Chet Holmgren, who is damn near averaging three blocks while recording a seven block game versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. The most improved player is undoubtedly Tyrese Maxey, as he made James Harden look expendable. While my NBA Finals matchup would be the Denver Nuggets and the Boston Celtics, as I have the Celtics coming out on top. Jason Tatum 
them is on a roll right now, and the new additions make them more than just a scary team, as they are my title favorites as it stands right now. And that's everything that happened in week one of the NBA season. Stay tuned as we're going to be doing this all season long.